Hi, my name is Caroline. I'm an instructor at Thrust Flight, and today we're going to talk about some things you need to know before your first cross country flight. Today we're going to go over a simple acronym that we like to use whenever we are pre flighting for a cross country. So the acronym is NW Craft and we're gonna go over a little bit what that means today. So N is for NOTAMs, so whenever you're planning a cross-country flight, you wanna make sure that you're looking out for any sort of um, important information about the airport that you should know beforehand, like for instance, if the runway's closed, um, if there's like, if they're landing on taxiways, for instance, that's something you would wanna know, what taxiways are closed, and if there's like obstructions or things like that, towers nearby maybe, those are all important things to keep in mind. Next is weather. So we wanna make sure that we're definitely keeping an eye out on the weather along our route um, for the estimated time when we're gonna go out. So this is things like thunderstorms. We wanna make sure that we're definitely within at least 20 miles of that thunderstorm. Um, turbulence, icing, and definitely winds too. Winds can play a big part in what altitude you're gonna fly at, um, whether you're getting a headwind or a tailwind. Uh, and then the strength and intensity of those winds can also play a big part in your flight. Next is known ATC delays. So maybe it's a very big day, maybe you're flying right when it's like rush hour time for ATC, or maybe you're flying late at night when it's known to be pretty quiet out. These are different things that you should keep in mind in an estimation of um, how long your flight is gonna take. Next is runway lengths. So we wanna make sure that we are beforehand planning how much takeoff and landing distance our airplane is gonna use so we can know how long of a runway is gonna be ideal for a cross country. So this is also important when you're looking at other alternates or different airports that you're gonna be landing, possibly be landing at, and making sure that everything is gonna be safe for a safe takeoff and a safe landing as well. Next is A for alternates. So you wanna make sure that you have plenty of alternates selected along your route, just in case maybe you need extra fuel. Um, maybe you get weathered out and you can't land at your destination airport or you have some sort of maintenance issue or maybe even you just need a bathroom break or to stretch your legs. Having an alternate is always a very good option and also evaluating the runway lengths there. Um, if they have fuel maintenance available or a crew car, so that way you can get to a hotel if need be, different things like that. Next is fuel requirements, that's F. So you wanna make sure that you're calculating how much fuel it's gonna take for you to get there, how much you're estimating you're going to burn, different things like that, making sure that you'll have plenty of extra fuel in reserve in case you need to go to a different airport, different things like that. They're always very important to keep in mind whenever you're doing your pre-flight plan. Next is takeoff and landing distance information. This we talked about a little bit before, but you wanna make sure that you're calculating how much takeoff and landing distance your airplane is gonna take up. Maybe you have extra passengers and a lot of fuel, so you're extra heavy, so it might take you a little bit of a longer distance to take off. These are all important things you wanna keep in mind. You might need a longer runway, for instance, so looking out for your destination and your alternate airports to make sure that those can accommodate you for that extra weight and distance. We hope that this acronym helps you on your cross-country flights. If any of y'all learned a different acronym, let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Thrust Flight to keep up with us in the aviation industry. My name is Caroline, and from all of us at Thrust Flight, thanks for watching.